In a world where gaming is dominated by the serious dudes with gun genre, reconnect with your inner persona and rediscover a type of game almost lost to time. The cute animals with gun genre, Biomutant. Leap into the lush open world of Biomutant, a post-apocalyptic red wall where furry creatures battle endlessly for dominance and everyone talks like Banjo-Kazooie characters. <laughs> That's translated into confusing dialogue that reads like a Bad Cloud Atlas fanfic. She got special parts in that gear bag, what'll save her? That's a true, true. That you'll aimlessly stumble through, running into one weird half-realized system after another in a very surreal package that is extremely jam-packed with stuff. But all of it feels somewhere between okay and extremely bad, placing the game firmly in the category affectionately known as Eurojank, meaning you can have a pretty good time with it with low expectations, as long as the constant interrupting of the narrator doesn't drive you insane first. Person, back at him. Your energy is empty. Oh, I can do it myself. You're not my real dad. Wait, are those pizza rolls? Flex the claws of the furball you'll call protagonist as you create your character from a variety of different mutated marsupials and recall the story of your life in the new world. A dilapidated ecosystem ruined by pollution and radioactive waste where animals have mutated to have working thumbs and learn kung fu. Then travel across the land to defeat the world eaters and get revenge on your family's killer all while trying to stop a war between different clans and tribes in a blatant morality tale about how bad we've collectively f***ed up the actual world that's kind of hard to take seriously when you're a badger and everything sounds like it was named by a five-year-old. Also, it's kind of hard to think about conservation when I'm spraying a million bullets into everything that moves. Dive into the hybrid action gameplay of Biomutant, where you'll wield gun, sword, fist, and psychic powers to beat adorable wildlife into the dirt comboing into special moves that they'll announce in Comic Zone fashion literally every time you do it. Then level up to unlock new powers that range from puking toxic bile to floating around like a fuzzy magneto in surprisingly varied combat that really lets you choose a playstyle, but that never quite succeeds in making you feel awesome and will most likely end up with you spamming the max pain bullet time thing over and over again. Okay, look, I would love to do a DMC YouTube montage combo like the next guy, but I've got some floopity snoops next to snap over in Snuggletown. Gather all of your newfound powers to face one of the big bads, then proceed to ignore them as you actually fight in some gimmicky vehicle sequence where you try to drive your squid sub around like a drunk guy at bumper carts, wondering how any of this even happened. Then gather a bunch of trash to craft literal garbage weapons and dress up like a thrift store Mad Max guy despite everyone around you dressing like a samurai and whatnot, in a smorgasbord of mechanics that you can't say doesn't give you choices, but sometimes feels like you're trying to create a character with the menu at the Cheesecake Factory. So pee on that marker and get ready to unleash your inner furry for a game that clearly could have used a lot more manpower and a lot more money, that for all the jank you can just turn your brain off and, dare I say it, enjoy because despite all the negatives, it has something that a lot of games in this genre don't. Literally trying anything different. Starring Shadow the Hedgehog, Mom Kong Fui, Dua Lupa, Doctor and Jin, John Waters in a scuba suit, Huggo Strange, Doctor Eggman after the terrible accident, and Jiminy Shut the F*** Up, Furballs. You know the best thing about this game is that you can make Sid from Ice Age, but if he was a mass murderer, I smell a sequel! Are you psyched for Final Fantasy 16? We broke down the 16 best things about the franchise, from Nobuo Uematsu's music to Tita's asymmetric skater boy shorts that are also overalls. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. You thought it was incremental progress, but it was me, endless suffering. I'll never do a Dragon Age trailer. Hello, Honest Game Trailers. You're my favorite pizza place. What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! Squidward! You can't have your cake and eat it, but you could have two cakes.